Hello everyone. Here is a video demonstration of a new station tuberplasty for a 30-year-old male with complaints of persistent ear block for the past 8 years. This patient underwent a bilateral myringotomy with grommet insertion in 2021 and a septoplasty with fess in May 2022. The procedure begins with decongestion of both the nasal cavities. Post decongestion, you can see clear middle meatal cavities and eustachian tube orifices on both sides. The ear examination showed an intact dull tympanic membrane on both sides. The setup consists of an inflation device a guide catheter and an eustachian tube balloon dilatation catheter to begin with 20 ml of saline is collected in the inflation device and the eustachian tube balloon dilatation catheter is inserted into the guide catheter dilatation catheter is connected to the inflation device and the catheter is pushed inside till the black mark the eustachian tube catheter is placed at the right eustachian tube opening and the catheter is pushed till the black mark and the timer is set for 2 minutes the pressure in the inflation device is raised to 8 atmospheric pressure units after a period of 2 minutes the pressure is reduced to 0 and the dilatation catheter is removed and the guide catheter removed as well post procedure the patient is advised valve salva maneuver steroid nasal wash and oral steroids for a week to reduce post procedure inflammation and edema eustachian tuberplasty is still an emerging procedure we at the kkr ent hospital are still evaluating the benefits and long term results of eustachian tuberplasty thank you for your patient listening